So I've made a few previous Steam Deck videos related to visual novels. One where I checked various Steam VNs that work out of the box, and one to apply outside patches, usually 18 plus ones, to Steam visual novels. I figured now is the time to go to the next step, how to put non-Steam visual novels on the Steam Deck. So in this video, my focus will be on official English releases like Manga Gamer, Jast, Deposoft, Joran, etc. and how to put those type of visual novels on the Steam Deck. As for fan translations or visual novels that need Japanese locale, you'll see. So the first thing we need to do is go into desktop mode on the Steam Deck. Using the Discover app, we need to install two programs, the first one being Lutris. If you didn't know, the Steam Deck actually runs on a Linux operating system, and Lutris is a common program that people use to run games on Linux. The second program we need is Wine. So while Lutris is the more of a game manager, Wine is actually the uh, program that actually lets you run the executable, and that runs in conjunction with Lutris, which you'll see momentarily. Once we have those two programs installed, let's open up Lutris. As you can see, I have some visual novels installed already. For the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to be using Deardrops, a Manga Gamer exclusive visual novel. I personally recommend having a visual novel already pre-installed on another computer, put it on an external flash drive, and then transfer it directly to the Steam Deck just for the most ease of convenience of getting the visual novel on your Steam Deck. Though just keep in mind if you do this method, the Steam Deck only has one slot, a USB-C. So if you were going to use an external, uh, you're most likely going to have to get some kind of USB to USB converter so you can actually plug it in to the Steam Deck. However, if you prefer not to use an external hard drive or you can't for whatever reason, thankfully the Steam Deck has a browser where you can go directly to a visual novel publisher store and download any files that you need. Usually it should just be as easy as unzipping all the files and then just running the executable. However, there are some visual novels that have an executable installer, and in that case, you're going to need Lutris and Wine to run that executable. And in order to do that, you can basically just follow the same steps that I'm going to be going through. Anyway, since I have the visual novel Deardrops already pre-installed, let's add it to Lutris. So let's click the plus button on the top here, do an add locally installed game. The runner we want to use is Wine. As you can see, it means it wants to run Windows games. The name is just kind of what you want it to be. I can just quickly put Deer Drops. Next, let's go to the game options. This is where you need the actual game executable, or if you want to uh, uh, do an installer, this is where you would put the installer executable. BGI.exe. From my experience, it's most convenient to use the prefix architecture 64-bit. All the other fields you don't really have to use for Now, let's go to the Runner Options tab. Um, wine version, you can just keep the default. I would say to make sure to just keep DXVK and VKD3D on and everything else off. The main reason is you would need to install a later version of Wine or Proton to use a lot of these other things like eSync or FSync. And if you try to enable those, uh, Loot just won't even let you run the game. So yeah, just keep the top two on at most. You don't really need to edit anything in the system options. So let's just click Save. Now we see Deardrops added here. So let's just highlight it and click Play. And voila, it's like Deardrops is turning on. And there you go. You could totally read Deardrops on the desktop mode if you so wanted. But if you're watching this video, there's a high chance you want to read this visual novel on Steam Deck mode. So if you want to read a visual novel in Steam Deck mode, simply right click the game and click Create Steam Shortcut. 
It's probably not going to show right away while on Steam, so, but by the time you go back to Steam Deck mode, it should show up. So let's go back to Steam Deck mode right now. Now that we're back in Steam Deck mode, let's go to our library and go to our non-Steam mode. So as you can see, there is now a Deer Drops game here. There's no fancy decorations, but I can show you how to do that later. If we click play, it should work exactly the same as it was set up in Lutris while in desktop mode. Yep, and this is how it would show up in the Steam Deck mode. So, generally, I would recommend uh, having a visual novel in Windows mode just to have the natural resolution look the best, at least from my experience. In order to edit things like the Steam cover art for non-Steam games, it would kind of be like how you would do it on PC, by right-clicking the game on your library, clicking Manage, and then doing stuff like set custom artwork and all that stuff. What I covered works for most visual novels through non-Steam stores like Manga Gamer, Jast, Sek uh, Dempasoft, Sekai Project, etc. However, I want to do a very particular sub-tutorial for visual novels you get through Joren. So if you don't know, Joran is one of few visual novel stores that still has DRM, where basically after you buy and download the visual novel, you have to connect to the internet and enter in a code the first time you run the visual novel in order to keep reading it. Thankfully, on desktop mode, we don't have to install anything extra to see this Joran DRM pop up. And thankfully, if we go back to Steam Deck mode, we should be able to enter in the Joran DRM code in this mode as well. However, the bad news comes is that you have to choose one of these modes to read on. You can't put use the same Joran activation code on both. If you enter the Joran activation code on desktop mode, for example, you would have to enter it again on Steam Deck mode, and that would count as two separate Joran DRM activations. I learned this the hard way, unfortunately. If you don't know, if you buy a Shiravune published visual novel on Droin, outside a few exceptions, you have a three code limit for each visual novel on your account, or else you'll have to find some way to revoke code you're not using, or at worst, have to rebuy the visual novel or something. Now the next question you may have is how do you install fan translations or visual novels that require Japanese locale? Sadly, setting that up takes quite a bit more setup than what I just showed. Another question you may have is, what if the visual novel I try to install doesn't work in some way, and what solution do I have? Well, the solution kind of depends on the visual novel and its engine. So how do we solve these issues? Well, on YouTube, there's a very in-depth tutorial on setting up fan translations or visual novels that need Japanese locale on the Steam Deck created by Moogle. Moogle also hosts a Steam Deck visual novel support discord where you can ask for help setting up specific visual novels or see a list of visual novels already been tested, as well as various specific guides to setting up particular visual novels. User Seitron on Fua Novel has a blog page where he's noted visual novels he's tested as well, in addition to other particular visual novel Steam Deck guides. Some are basically text versions of stuff I already covered in this video. And there you have it. Most of what I covered in this video should work for the vast majority of non-Steam visual novels through stores like Manga Gamer, Jazz, Dempasoft, and Joran. For visual novels from those stores that require extra tinkering, or if you want to do a fan translation, or just a visual novel in Japanese locale, I provided resources you can look to for those. Said resources can be found in the description below. If you have any questions on anything I covered in this video, Feel free to leave a comment below if it's something I covered, but if you have any questions for any content Moogle or Seichon covered, make sure to join the Visual Novel Steam Deck support discord as they're both in it and willing to answer questions.